Well, before we get into the meat of this show, Disney had their uh, every year they've been doing uh, the, what they call Disney Plus Day, where they just kind of announce like all their upcoming like Disney shows and stuff. So I figured we could go through these, and you guys could just pitch in, see if any of these excite you or not. Um, all right. This first one, I doubt it. They're doing yet another remake of Cheaper by the Dozen. Uh, Gabrielle Union and Zach Braff's reimagining of the hit family comedy Cheaper by the Dozen heads to the, uh, Disney Plus in March 2022. You guys excited about that? Did they say right. the cast member? That's all we know so far is those two, oh, I guess. I haven't yeah. seen Zach Braff in anything for a long time since uh, Scrubs. Yeah, he did Scrubs. I'm, yeah, I don't think he's been in anything big, not that I can remember. Yeah, not interested. Yeah, I'm not really. Uh, next, Disenchanted, the sequel to the hit film Enchanted, starring Amy Adams and Patrick Dempsey. I never saw that original movie, yeah. so I can't really not, be excited about this one. Uh, these ones I'm not really excited about, but uh, these Diary of a Wimpy Kid, man, they, they seem to be doing all right, kids. They keep, keep I, making them. I thought yeah. about getting the kids those. I know it's a popular series, but uh, yeah, I don't know much about now it. Now they're making a new animated entry in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid franchise. Um, and then Roderick rules a second animated film uh, from the Diary Diary of a Wimpy Kid universe. They're just jumping into multiples, huh? Now this one, like, I was a fan of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers back in the day, but now they're making the John Mulaney and Andy Samberg star in a hybrid live-action CG animated feature. This just, like, reminds me of those, like, bad-looking, like, Smurf and, like, chipmunk movies they made oh, like you got some more of that coming yeah, yeah so great let's do more of that like if it was just animated i would maybe give it a shot but that doesn't sound very good to me uh the beatles get back peter jackson's docuseries streams over three nights um so like a documentary about the beatles i'm i like I, I like a few beatles songs but i'm not a beatles maniac like a lot of people are so that doesn't really excite me yeah i like the beatles but not interested uh, Better Nate Than Ever, uh, based on the book by Tim Federla, Better Nate Than Ever premieres spring 2022. Never heard of it. Oh, now this one I know will get AJ and his sister excited. Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> yeah. Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Jimmy return as the Sanderson sisters in this sequel to the Halloween cult classic premiering fall 2022. Yeah, we were really hoping that would come out. Uh, this year, this Halloween, but looking forward to it. It'll make next Halloween something to be excited about. <laughs> uh, Pinocchio. Robert Zemeckis combines live action and visual effects in his reimagining of the classic story, starring Tom Hanks, Cynthia Erivo, Luke Evans, and the voices of Benjamin Evan Ainsworth, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Keegan Michael Key, and Lorraine Bracco, premiering fall 2022. Is this one of their live actions? Sorry, I wasn't listening. It's, it's like. Um, they've been doing so many of those remakes. Well, it says. Uh, uh, live action and combines live action and visual effects. So I don't know if maybe it's kind of like the Polar Express, like Mary Poppins back in the day, or yeah, I, <laughs> so, some combination, some combination oh, of the okay. two. But I, I'm not sure visually what it'll look like. I'll, I'll say that's a toss up. We'll see how the ratings go. Um, the Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild. Uh, Simon Pegg is back as Buck in an all new movie. Man, I saw the first Ice Age movie and then they made it like a million more and I, I just didn't care. <laughs> Buck Wild? Wasn't that uh, George, George Seinfeld's or George uh, Costanza's porn name? Oh, I think it might have been. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, this one sounds bad. Sneakerella. Set in the avant-garde sneaker subculture of New York City, the music-driven movie puts a gender flip twist on Cinderella. Wasn't Cinderfella uh, the gender? Brought to you by Nike? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah, pass. The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, a new series based on the Disney Channel series from the 2000s. I never, I never watched uh, yeah, The Proud Family. Was that black comedy? I, yeah, I it was it like was. a cartoon about a black family, yeah. yeah. But I was a little too old for it, I think, when it came out. Uh, high School Musical, colon, the musical, colon, the series. Is there anything on here that's good? <laughs> well, well, there's one thing on here that excites oh, okay. me. Okay, yeah. at the bottom. Uh, season three. Said Hocus Pocus. Man, they made three <laughs> seasons of this uh, High School Musical show. Yeah, no one gives a shit about that. Uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles, a new live-action series based on the beloved best-selling books. Didn't they make a Spiderwick Chronicles movie once? I never saw it. Seems like it. It probably sucked. Uh, Baymax, this new series following Big Hero 6 Baymax. Uh, 
Streaming exclusively summer 2022. Yeah, I mean the movie was okay. I never. I, I need to. I still haven't watched the movie. I even for some reason like got the movie for free. Like I have it in my Voodoo collection. Just I ne- just never watched it. Bothered yet? <laughs> uh, Zootopia Zootopia Plus, a new short form series set in the Mammal Metropolis. I did like uh, Zootopia. Zootopia was good. I mean, you've got a large cast of characters, so I, th- I think there's probably potential there. Yeah, if it gets good ratings, I, w- I would maybe check that out. Uh, Tiana, the long-form musical series about the newly crowned princess of Maldonia, heads to Disney Plus in 2023. Not really familiar with that. Uh, Intertwined, the first Disney Plus original series produced in Latin America is now available to stream. Oh. So for all of our Latin listeners there you go uh next is oh pixar uh announcements oh everybody loves cars right that's your favorite pixar's movie well now you can watch cars on the road pixar's cars gets a new series with mater and lightning mcqueen heading out on a cross-country road trip uh coming 2022 uh, there's two new documentaries ex- that explore the making of pixar's turning red and Lightyear. Uh, and then, uh, win or lose, Pixar's first ever original long-form animated series lands on Disney Plus in 2023. Each 20-minute episode highlights the perspective of a different character at a middle school co-ed softball team uh, as they prepare for their championship game. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Marvel Disney announcements. Hawkeye. Well, we know about this one. Mm. In post-blip New York City, Clint Barton teams up with a 22-year-old skilled archer, Kate Bishop, to unravel a criminal conspiracy, premiering November 24th, 2021. So that one's coming up, guys. Wait, so that one's like where he's like uh, still a renegade and he's fighting all those uh, Yakuza guys, all that kind of stuff? Like, It didn't look like that by the trailer. It, I mean, it says post-blip. So his family's not back yet, right? Or, or well, but his family that... was in the trail. Maybe it means the post the second blip. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I where... think it must mean that because yeah, I don't think this is mm-hmm. like in the in between time. Uh, Moon Knight. I'm actually kind of excited for Moon Knight. A vigilante who suffers from dissociative identity disorder is thrust into a deadly war of the gods against the backdrop of modern and ancient Egypt. Uh, series premiere 2022. What's disassociative identity disorder? Basically, um, multiple personality. Uh, okay. At least that's what it is in the comics. I got gotcha. you. There's actually a um, a Moon Knight run by Jeff Lemire in the comics that I like quite a bit. Like Legion kind of did that, right? Like where the guy was like schizophrenic and had power. Yeah, I, Legion was a pretty trippy show. I liked it though. It was hard to keep up with all of that too. Though <laughs> yeah. I hope it's not too trippy. Yeah, I definitely have a limit on like how abstract things can go before yeah. my brain kind of loses it. <laughs> uh, She-Hulk, Ta- Tatiana Maslany, She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters, a lawyer who specializes in superhuman-oriented legal cases in a new comedy series coming to Disney Plus in 2022. So, man, we're going to be reviewing a lot of these. Uh, and then uh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, a 16-year-old Pakistani-American from Jersey City, gets superpowers like the hero she always looked up to. That uh, premieres summer of 2022. Um, Echo, Alakwa Cox, stars as Maya Lopez slash Echo following her introduction in Hawkeye. Ooh, so apparently... Uh, a character we haven't even met yet is getting getting their own spin up. Now, now we have to watch yeah. Hawkeye. <laughs> Better hope the Echo's good. Yeah. Uh, That's a bow and arrow. <laughs> Ironheart. Uh, Dominic Thorne is Riri Williams, a genius inventor who creates the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. Uh, Agatha, House of Harkness. Catherine Hahn returns as her fan favorite character from WandaVision. Now, I liked her, but I think I would prefer they just like use her not in her own show but just as like you know character in other shows or maybe a movie yeah, I don't some know. sort of team up or something i don't think i need it i mean i'm sure it'll be fine but i don't, I don't really think i need yeah. a they, show they, they've been on the border of doing too much they're definitely doing more than i want to watch <laughs> and like it's just getting worse i think uh, Secret Invasion, Samuel L. Jackson returns as Nick Fury with Ben Mendelsohn reprising his role as the Skrull Talos in the crossover MCU series. Now, some of these like they, that I've read off are things I think they 
kind of already announced before. I don't know if yeah. maybe they give a little more information on them here. Like, I, I've heard of some of these things, yeah. but some of these things I haven't. And I'm just, um, uh, like Lester said, I'm surprised by how much they're releasing, like how much stuff they're putting out there. That's a lot of content. Although I do feel sometimes like Disney Plus, it, like, is kind of bare. Like, I, I mean, it's not that they don't have a lot of stuff on there, but it doesn't seem like... Like, once they get all these shows and the Star Wars stuff rolling, they're going to have, like, a yeah probably too much stuff. But mm. it does seem like they could maybe use some, some more new stuff right now. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. A holiday special written and directed by Guardians of the Galaxy veteran James Gunn. I like that that's just going to be, like, a one and done, you know, yeah. a nice little... Yeah, I'd, I'd get in for that. Yeah. Now, this one, this is probably the thing that excited me the most and intrigued me the most. X-Men 97, a series featuring new stories set in the I- iconic 1990s animated series timeline. That sounds cool. Yeah. That sounds interesting. They're using the same animation style. I mean, <laughs> I'm assuming it'll because look a lot better because that, that original well, animated... Hand, hand-drawn is like notoriously like uh, expensive. I don't think they'll be doing hand-drawn because, yeah, that'd be too expensive. And actually, like, if you go back and watch those, those X-Men right. cartoons, like, the animation is actually pretty rough in places, um, even though it is a good series. And the opening credits is really awesome, that song. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Um, uh, they're doing going to do. This is no surprise. They're going to do a What If season two. The multiversal animated series returns to Disney Plus for more stories told by the Watcher. Uh, I still need to watch season one once. Once Hawkeye is all collected and I subscribe, well, I'll, I'll have to watch those as well. Uh, Spider Man Freshman Year, an animated series that follows Peter Parker's road to becoming Spider Man within the MCU, told in a style evocative of Spidey's early comic book roots. Could be good. Um, I Am Groot, original animated shorts explore Baby Groot's formative years before becoming one uh, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Man, they're doing a lot of animated stuff. And then Marvel Zombies. the uh, and This animated series reimagines the Marvel Universe as a new generation of heroes battle against an ever-spreading zombie scourge. That's animated or? Animated. That one could be a lot of fun. I, I have read those comics. I have read the comics as well. Um. Oh, now we're to the Lucasfilm uh, portion of the announcements. This one does nothing for me. Uh, Willow, upcoming series Willow sees the return of Warwick Davis as the iconic character, joined by castmates Ruby Cruz, Aaron Kellyman, Ellie Bamber, uh, Tony Ravalori, Amar Kada Patel, and Dempsey Brick. Uh, premieres in 2022. Like, I know I saw that movie when I was, like, a really young kid, and I just have no interest in that property yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, why is that even a big deal? I mean, apparently it has its fans, but I I, I don't know. I think there's, there's like, um, you know, there's not a ton of Lucasfilm property, so I think they're just trying to, like, grab onto what's well, there. What they can use. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Actually, you know, like, an animated Indiana Jones could be cool. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Um, this one we already knew about, but we find out it's coming next year, I guess. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ewan McGregor returns as, returns as Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'll definitely watch that. I mean, oh, yeah, Mandalorian's good. It's and, all, Obi, yeah. all Obi-Wan all the time. Uh, under the Helmet, the Legacy of Boba Fett. Learn about the origins and legacy of Star Wars legendary bounty hunter Boba Fett. Now streaming on Disney+. Plus. So that's just probably to get people to watch the... I mean, all of those are going to be like... If they're good enough, I'll watch them. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to skip the National Geographic announcements because who really cares? <laughs> Not Geo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then the other one is just like um, a couple things that are on like Disney's like international platform or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like... Not a ton excited me in there, but definitely like the X Men '97 sounds intriguing to me. I check it out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And, and the Marvel series as well. I feel like the only people who got the Phoenix Saga right was the X-Men cartoon. That, that's where I like the Phoenix Saga. Oh, yeah, because, like, I mean, I didn't watch that last X-Men movie about the Phoenix. With uh, Sansa Stark? Yeah, I didn't watch that one. Yeah, I when, saw that. It was not great. And then the, they originally tried it in X-Men 3, which was fucking 
terrible too. So yeah, yeah they've been having trouble with that. Yeah, that's one of the few parts I remember from that movie is like you know Wolverine, like trying to get to or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that movie was a huge yeah, disappointment. It, it, God, it, didn't that, stick. it sucked. <laughs> um. All right, guys. Should we get get into the meat of the show then? Well, I, I feel like we threw the biggest, most important thing out. We didn't even talk about how Paul Rudd is a Paul Rudd is the sexiest man alive. Oh yeah, <laughs> he got that. <laughs> yeah, the straightest straight man alive. I know. <laughs> Little old Paul Rudd. <laughs> Paul Rudd. Do you think a lot of women are trying to get up on old Paul Rudd? I think lots of women. I'm want sure he's to get got enough with... money to get get some women up. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's married with kids, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure a lot of women would like to get up with uh, yeah. Paul Rudd because he's a funny guy. I make mean, he's rich and he's funny. Oh, women love that. Hmm. None of us have it. Go ahead and com- <laughs> comment below on your feelings about Paul Rudd <laughs> and how sexy he is or is not. No, he is a good-looking guy, and he's aged very well. Yeah, he looks the same. Like as everybody he did. comments about, yeah, how he looks exactly the same as he did in Clueless. In Clueless, yeah. yeah. 